What is up, everybody? Justin Pune here in the streets of downtown Toronto for another jam-packed episode of CEBL Pick and Roll powered by Bet Victor. Now, you guys have known me as a pretty humble guy the last couple weeks, but today... I got to take a moment and say, I told you so. Remember when the Scarborough Shooting Stars were 0-2 and I told you guys to relax? Well, also last week in Justin's three-point play, my last leg had the Scarborough Shooting Stars defeating their GTA rivals, the Brampton Honey Badgers. And boy, did they not disappoint me at all. Play in the third quarter is an amazing defensively. Can he make a defensive stop here? Kadre Gray for the win. That's good. Toronto, Ontario's finest. Kadre Gray points to the wrist and says it's target score time. And it's ball game for Scarborough. Another squad that has surprised many, but not me, the Vancouver Bandits. The boys from the 604 are sitting pretty right now, sitting number one in the Western Conference. And they're looking to have the good times keep on rolling against the Calgary Surge. First quarter, Kerr Jonkic in the post kicks it out to the new guy, Curtis Hollis, who drains the three. Welcome to the 604. Kobe McEwen's turn to get in the action as he takes it strong to the hoop and gets the scoop to drop. Second half, off back-to-back, -back, Calgary misses. Vancouver grabs the rebound and gets to running. They find big man Nick Ward, who drops the hammer. Game clock off, target score in sight. The new guy Hollis with a huge block. Vancouver in transition. The ball finds Dwayne Notice, and he drives and scores. Bandits up nine. Bandits looking to pull away. Hollis drives, draws some crowd. Passes it off to James Karnick for the slam. Vancouver wins 70 to 65 and covers the one and a half point spread. We got to talk about the star of the show, Curtis Hollis. In his first game for the Bandits, the Arlington, Texas State have dropped 21 points and had some vicious blocks, as you saw. But we also got to give credit to the Bandits' defense, forcing Calgary to shoot 36% from the field and forcing 27 turnovers next up for vancouver is a game against the winnipeg sea bears at the lec you know the crowd is going to be electric but we got to look at the team vancouver beat last week the edmonton stingers those bandits handed them their first loss and they were looking to get back to winning ways against the struggling niagara river lions early on in this one javon blair setting the tone by draining the triple spoiler you're going to hear his name a lot Second quarter, Blair off the miss, gets the ball back, takes it to the free throw line, rises, absorbs the contact, and gets it to fall. Javon Blair too strong with the tough finish. Niagara shocking everyone with a 16-point lead with Blair playing the starring role. Nathan Kayo, not to be outdone by his teammate, gets his own triple to fall. Fourth quarter, back to Blair, triple, nothing but net. River Lions beating the hell out of the Stingers. Niagara looking to land the knockout punch. Who else but Blair? Wide open underneath the basket. Gets the turnaround J to fall. Niagara River Lions drop a hundo on the Edmonton Stingers. Taking this one 179 the final. The Niagara River Lions were six and a half point dogs to the Stingers. And they wanted the whole CEBL world to know that they took it personally. Javon Blair's 26 point outburst was the main reason for their success. And look, he was feeling it right off the rip. 13 points in the first quarter, and oh yeah, shooting a perfect 100% from the field. Let's take a look at the rest of the scores from this past week. The Surge had the biggest upset of the weekend, handing the Seabears a beatdown thanks to a 35-point third quarter. Gotta send our prayers over to Brampton Honey Badger fans, because it hasn't been fun lately. 0-3 on the week and five straight L's. Glass half full point of view, though, is they play in the East. They're only two games behind Scarborough and Niagara for first place. Out West, that's where the cream has risen to the top in the CEBL. In case you missed it the three times I said it earlier, the Vancouver Bandits are first in the West. Edmonton, Saskatchewan trail at 4-2. and two. Then we got Winnipeg and Calgary rounding it out. One thing I want you guys all to pay attention to is the minus 29-point differential for the Seabears. We know they can score, but they cannot seem to stop a nosebleed right now, allowing 191 points over their last two games. All right, get your pens and papers out because Justin's three-point play is back. Three for three last week, looking to go back-to-back -back like Jordan 96 and 97. Our first matchup is those Brampton Honey Badgers taking on the Saskatchewan Rattlers. Saskatchewan is a six-and-a-half-point favorite, and the total is set at 182-and-a-half. I just told you how bad the Seabears point differential was. Brampton's is damn near double at minus 54, the worst in the league. Saskatchewan is undefeated at home. Home, and that's going to continue. Rattlers 
cover the spread. The Scarborough Shooting Stars are the hottest team in the CEBL on a three-game heater. They look to continue that against the Ottawa Blackjacks. Bet Victor believes in Scarborough as they are three and a half point favorites and the total is set at 179 and a half. Cadre Gray has been leading the charge for the Shooting Stars, leading the league in assists. They also have the league leader in blocks, Hassan Ward. Scarborough is just too deep and playing too well. Shooting Stars cover the three and a half point spread with ease. Last game, a prairie matchup between the Sea Bears and the Stingers. Winnipeg is going to win this one because they just got a big time, and I mean big time, bucket getter. Last season scoring champion, Justin Wright Foreman, just signed with Winnipeg. Wright Foreman averaged just over 29 points per game. You pair him with Teddy Buckets Allen. It's going to be showtime. A lot of nights at Canada Life Center. Sea Bears win this one with ease over the Edmonton Stingers, giving them three straight losses. To recap Justin's three-point play, Saskatchewan covers the six-and-a-half point spread over a struggling Brampton squad. Scarborough defends home court, beats Ottawa, and covers the three-and-a-half point spread. End. And the Winnipeg Sea Bears, with the highest scoring duo the CEBL has ever seen, get a win over the Edmonton Stingers. That is all the time we have for today on CEBL Pick and Roll. Remember, if you ever miss an episode of Pick and Roll, subscribe to CEBL Plus, powered by Bet Victor. We'll see you guys next week.